Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mac Tech Keyboards and today it's just a real quick one. I want to, uh, I, I was surprised yesterday. Somebody shared a link on our Discord and I was like, no. I went and I looked on the website and sure enough, Keychron has released a new TKL, a C3 Pro. Now they don't sell it on their website, it's exclusive to Amazon. It's QMK VIA compatible TKL for $35.99. Yeah, $35.99. Has there ever been a keyboard <laughs> uh, that's got QMK VIA out of the box for less than $50? I mean, I know of some kits, but this is a fully built. Now, granted, I do not believe it's hot swap, though it includes a key switch and keycap puller. So usually when you include both of those it usually means it's hot swap and it is a single LED color red and they're north facing but that's about as much as I know of this so we're gonna go ahead and open it up today and see what we've got and see if there's value to it I mean if Keychron can do this now oh, this is gasket mounted as well I forgot so we've got a gasket mounted QMK um, single RGB keyboard for $35.99. So let's dive in and see what we've got. Now, I think the box is actually different to begin with because I believe most Keychrons have sleeves, but it's been a while since I've opened a Keychron. Now the model on this is C3PA3. Now this one I do believe has brown switches. They had a choice of brown or red switches. All right, so opening up, first thing I'm surprised with, there's no Keychron card. Keychron user cards are a staple with Keychron boards. It's usually one of the first things you see when you open it up, but we do have a nice little manual and it does look like it has layers. So, I mean, it has the full QMK via functionality, which I'm still just like blown away at the price for this. Now, if they could put this out, they can definitely do an update to the V series. How about we get a V series maybe an X series, Ooh, I like X, that is an affordable range of keyboards that are gasket mounted with PC plates, QMK, via and hot swap. I hope you're listening, Keychron. You would sell a lot of those. We have, like I said, your switch keycap, or your, your key switch puller. So this usually indicates that you have hot swap. Now it looks like we have a couple of extra keys here, an escape key basically different keys for the highlighted keys that are red and I believe the yeah, other has a red background and we have a standard well it's got some wings on it the USB A to USB C so I'm guessing it's got some grooves at the bottom there and here we are the Keychron C3 Pro now it actually doesn't sound half bad just listening to it um, the switches are not lubed because I can hear it. I can hear them actually ping. Now this one does have, I believe the scroll lock is also uh, mapped to Siri um, for, the, for your Mac users. And you have the caps lock indicator, Mac indicator, and a wind indicator. Now the, uh, I gotta say, I actually kinda like the, uh, the chunkiness of it. Oh, and does it have a side light? It looks like it might actually have a side light. Um, but it has a pretty nice design. We've got two pair of flip-out feet. We do have this uh, recessed USB port, which I'm not a fan of, but um, thankfully the cable that they have, has that's why it has those wings there. But the lines on it are actually pretty nice. It doesn't feel super light, or so it doesn't look really, or it doesn't feel cheap. It feels substantial. Now, Oh wow, we do. We have a PC plate. Holy crap. Yeah, these are definitely soldered in there. Let's see about these stabilizers. Let's 
stabilizers are plate mounted, but they seem to be well attached. I'd say, let me check for um, if they have <clears throat> if they have the ability to put on screw in stabilizers, but I doubt that they do. Though. I must say, I'm kind of tempted to see if this is a clip-on and I can just open it up. It might just be. Alright. Looks like we got the clips off. So let's go ahead, pop it off. Let's see what we got here. Alright, we do have a JST connector. We've got, here's the... Uh, light diffuser so yeah it does have LEDs on the side and let me see that looks like it sits right in there so let's connect disconnect this JST connector all right so we've just got this um, light foam and we've got the uh, daughter board there we've got side light diffusers so and then we've got what feels like pour on gaskets and of course we can see that it is soldered. Not swappable PCB. <laughs> More to come. I hope so. I, I need to see a hot swap version of this. I mean, now granted it is north facing, but honestly at this price, I, I'd honestly, I'd take the time to um, desolder the switches out and replace them or mill max them even because at this price I mean it would take me roughly about 90 minutes or roughly a minute per switch I mean obviously one or two there given given a little bit of trouble but and yeah there's even plate and PCB foam there's a lot of things right about this keyboard um, like I said the only thing I mean I I don't mind single color LEDs. I don't actually red is kind of a good one to go with black in my opinion. Um, I guess I will plug it in and we'll see about these side lights but even if I wanted to change the color I could go and actually just get some single actually I got some single color LEDs but I don't think I'd replace them because I'd just be replacing them with another single color and I think red goes good especially since this is a black keyboard. So This is an ARM STM 32F402. Oh yeah, but we um, and we do not we do not have the capability for screw and stabilizers, but there are flex cuts. <laughs> flex cuts on a sub forty dollar keyboard. I mean that's that's pretty nutty. I gotta say that is pretty nutty. I am um. <laughs> well, I definitely have a TKL to recommend to newcomers now. There's the reset button for um, QMK so that we can reload the uh, firmware. Uh, these probably could use a little bit of tape, but again, these are going to require... Oh, those are white bottom key crown switches. But despite these uh, switches being stopped because we're not dealing with a steel plate, you can't hear the ping unless you put your ear to the back of the keyboard. So, yeah, that's, um, I gotta say, that's pretty wild. I am quite surprised by the build of this keyboard um, and everything that it offers for, it's funny because well, I bought it yesterday and it was $35.99, but it had a five or 10% coupon off. So I got it for close to 30. Um, well, it was 30-something with tax. I think it was 33 with tax. That is a steel plate. Where the heck did I get the idea that this was a... Huh. All right. I was wrong. This is a steel plate. So... <sighs> so despite having a steel plate... Well, I mean, I guess... Kind of hear the ping, but it's not as bad. It the steel plate looks and feels to be thinner than most steel plates. It's not quite as heavy, 
so I don't know if it's like a new alloy, a new formulation of steel that they're using, but I mean, it kind of defeats the purpose to put a steel plate with flex cuts. I mean, flex is supposed to give it a little bit of flex, but a steel plate isn't going to give much. So, I mean, it has the slightest amount to give, but it's not that much. So, apologies that I thought it was a PC plate. I was super surprised that really, that would be a... A nice thing to do there, Keychron, is put these out with with PC plates off the bat. Let me see if I'm going in upside down. Huh, the JST connector is in upside down. Usually the pins are at the bottom of the connector, but this one, they're at the top. Alright, but that's a decent JST connector, unlike others that I won't beat to death. That you guys should know by now that I don't like. <laughs> but that simple disassembly there although oh yeah the whole plate does kind of move that's those gaskets at work there make sure I have it closed on the way but there's definitely some flex. You can see when I press down on the keys how it um yeah. Yeah, it's definitely got some flex and despite these being unlubed, it truly does not sound that bad. Alright, let me see if I can use my normal cable. Oh yeah. Alright, cool. Oh, it's instant on. And there we can see the red backlights. And we do have some effects, not just the static. That single red light, which I gotta say is actually a good color. I'm glad they didn't pick... I mean, white would have been okay, but I'm glad they didn't pick blue because... Uh, Sometimes that blue just doesn't look right. It's just like a washed out white with blue. But that red looks really nice and I think it would look really nice with this key cam set. Um, that's Evil Dolch, by the way. I am, um, <laughs> for the value, I mean, even a year ago, this would have been like, <laughs> yeah, you're making it up. Key Crowd's not selling a $35 QMK keyboard. Like, oh, maybe on sale, maybe used, no. This is, this is brand new, and it seems to be um, an Amazon exclusive from what Keychron has on their website. So, I <laughs> available with browns or reds. Unfortunately, they do not come pre-lubed. Keychron, please. I mean, I gladly, and I'm sure many people will gladly pay a few dollars more if you include even factory lubricated switches because being that it's not hot swap we got to deal with it now i yeah I, i'm going to go ahead and say it now i'm going to come back to this keyboard and i'm going to make this a project board i'm going to go ahead and desolder it and and put in some milmax i just wanted to go ahead and do a quick video um to show that this is available i could highly recommend this for a newcomer just the specs today we're taking a look at the keychron c3 pro an amazon exclusive keychron pre-built this keyboard msr piece for 34.99 and comes with qmk and via preloaded it is a north facing non-hot swap keyboard with red led single color and flex cuts it is available with both brown and red keychron switches and includes a gasket mounted steel plate. This keyboard comes weighing in at 899 grams. The chin of this keyboard sits at 24 millimeters above the typing surface, while the back sits at 33 millimeters, providing for a default typing angle of six degrees. Raising the next pair of feet up will bring the back height to 35 millimeters, changing your angle of typing to eight degrees. Using the final set of fold out feet, will bring the back up to 42 millimeters, changing the default angle of typing to 10 degrees. 
It's not yet in the buyer repository, but it should be there soon. Downloading the JSON file from um, Keychron will allow you to program it. It has all the functionality, it appears. Uh, macros, uh, different layers, uh, six layers. Um, has the control, even has the, um, actual buttons for the uh, Mac system command center controls, like you know the brightness on the screen, uh, window layout, such and such. Um, so it's a very, I just, I'm still just kind of, what? <laughs> I mean, I have bought TKLs. TKL is one of my favorite layouts, but I've bought TKLs for more than this that, you know, yes, they may have had um, RGB and hot swap, but they didn't have QMK via. They weren't gasket mounted. I mean, this is a truly gasket mount keyboard. I am the only thing that I would say, please, I don't care about the, the colors, although it would be nice to have some choices. Some people might like the white so they can go with a black on white or white on black kind of feel. Um, I like the red colors. Uh, maybe have a couple of different colors as options, but that's neither here nor there. I, I would buy a non-RGB or LED uh, version of this. The one thing, though, hot swap. You got to have hot swap sockets, and it's literally costing you. I mean, with manufacturing everything, it's roughly three cents per socket. So, I mean, you're looking at less than three dollars, you know, two, two sixty, two seventy, maybe three dollars, and you can pass that off to me as ten. I would gladly pay ten dollars more if it was hot swap because it would make things a lot easier. Now, am I still gonna mess with it? Yeah, I gotta. I'm definitely gonna hot, uh, I'm gonna desolder it. I'm gonna see about putting some Milmac sockets in here so that I can test out different switches and I'm definitely gonna mod this. But stock, it actually does not sound that bad. For being non-lubricated switches on a steel plate, I'm just surprised at how well it sounds. Keyboards just continue to get better. I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys with a stock sound test of the Keychron C3 Pro, an Amazon exclusive, $34.99 for a QMK TKL. Yes, it's not hot swap and it's single RGB, but that's still, that's still a value. I mean, I, I remember I bought a TKL that was soldered back in the day for over a hundred bucks, so. <laughs> But I mean, things have just changed. The market is changing. I'll leave you guys with a stock sound test of the Keychron C3 Pro. But I'd really like to hear your guys' opinions. What do you guys think about this? And what do you think about the changing market and the way that in-stock keyboards are literally just beating the pants off of things that would have been grouped by a year, a year and a half ago? Let's start a conversation. Until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.